On today's On Location, I'm here with PJ Vick, and we're standing for the first time, for me anyway, yeah. on Lake Huron, outside of Saginaw Bay, of course, yeah. where we're targeting lake trout. Uh, and this was a bite that you and I have talked about fishing for the last three years, mm -hmm. and we talk about it when we drive across the Mackinac Bridge yep. on our way back from Saginaw Bay. Yes. And it finally got the better of us. Uh, we, we refused to drive past it one more time, and I gotta be honest with you, I am thrilled. Yeah. that we stopped and tried this out. I'm beyond blown away by the the size of the fish that we contacted and uh, the good numbers. I mean, we seen great numbers of uh, fish on the screen. They were grumpy, but yeah. the fish we caught were fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the average size, as you said, top notch. Uh, what was working here today? Um, we didn't do a lot of exploring. We're no. just kind of getting a feel for this body of water. There's a lot of current here. Uh, we watched the icebreaker work off in the distance, which kind of kept us <laughs> yeah, right here. Too much exploring <laughs> right. is probably not a good idea. <laughs> Got uh, out to about 50 foot of water and uh, fished out to about 80 foot of water on a point we found. And they were here. Yeah, they are here. Uh, what we did find it was that the fish were feeding on perch. And that was kind of a key, you figured that out. Yeah. You yeah. caught a, a laker that actually spit up perch. Yeah, it, hit, it probably spit out about three perch, and it just so happened that the exact size they were eating was the size of a number six slab wrap. I put that slab wrap on, I think it probably took me five minutes uh, to contact the first one, and then I caught another awesome fish on it just a little later. You went on a rip with it. Yeah. I yep. switched over to perch colored jigging wraps. And that, that produced the best for me. So not your stereotypical laker pattern, as far as I'm concerned. Typically, we're, we're fishing the big, you know, giant paddle tails and white, which we did catch we a couple catch, fish. We when they were aggressive and active, they did hit that bait. Yep. But what ended up being kind of a, uh, it took us a while to figure it out. But mm -hmm. once we realized that, oh, they're feeding on perch, that's when the light bulb kind of came yeah. on. Hey, pretty much after that, we started making the switch changes accordingly. It, they, we had a pretty good thumb on them at that point. Now it's bringing our day to an end here. We typically don't stop till sunset. The wind has really picked up. And what that's done is it's cranking the current. Yeah. We were fishing those slab wraps in 50 and 60 foot of water earlier. You couldn't even keep it in the cone anymore. It's just blowing it right out. Uh, so that's really the relocated the fish a little bit. And uh, that's, we're gonna call it a day now. We're gonna head off the ice. Uh, if you ever get a chance to get out here on Lake Huron, target these lake trout, just a tremendous bite. We are just barely scratched the surface <laughs> of what's available here and cannot wait to come back. No, not at all. I can't wait to do some exploring. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this week's On Location. This episode will air Sunday on Bally Sports. And of course, you can always find it on YouTube. Take care, we'll see you out there on the ice. In-depth outdoors on location, presented by Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters. Reed's offers the best service, best price, best advice on all your favorite ice fishing gear, guaranteed. Find them online at reedsports.com.